Hello. What's up, everybody? It is our final day here in Santorini, as well as our final vlog from Greece. Yeah, but today we're about to check out some of the more local villages here in Santorini. We are currently here in Piros, and I think first up on the agenda, gotta be food. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> Let's head on out. If any of you watched our previous vlog from Santorini where we went to go visit Firasia and the volcanic islands, you might have seen that I ordered a um, tomato ball at the restaurant that was on Firasia. And today I've decided to get it again. <laughs> Except here it's a lot more flat, which is really cool. Yeah, you kept raving on about that tomato. It's so good and I really wanted that flavor one more time before we left Santorini. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Already cut this one up. This one sounds quite crispy. Mm. It's nice. I still kind of prefer yesterday's one, <laughs> just because it was more salty. But this one has a lot more crisp crispiness to it, though. The mains have now arrived, and something that I've been seeing a lot of, but haven't tried yet, is this tomato beef stew. And it, this reminded me a lot of my mum's beef stew, which I absolutely love back home in New Zealand. True. And when the waiter was like, it comes with rice, I was sold. <laughs> <laughs> Let's break down this rice and add one of these chunks of meat into it. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. Let's give that a try. Mmm. Sounds like a winner. Oh. Oh wow, oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so good. Okay, mum, this reminds me a lot of your tomato beef stew. Oh, that's high praise. It is high praise. Mum's is obviously just that little bit better, but this is very close in terms of flavor. It's got all of that saltiness from the tomato that's been infused with the beef, and the beef itself is so super soft. Got a little bit of fat in there, and it goes nicely with that rice. Mm. I'm in a happy place, this is really good. Sounds good. Mm. I got a carbonara. Mm. Why don't you try right. that out, bud? <laughs> okay, that is delicious. <laughs> so creamy. Got that cured pork for the saltiness. The pasta is silky and al dente. Had a mushroom in there too, so I love it. Yeah. Mains, very nice. Mm. That was a great lunch and now we've decided to go for a little stroll. We're going to make our way up to Piros Castle. We just passed the church of Theodosia. It's so windy up here, didn't quite expect that but should have because I believe Piros is meant to be one of the highest villages if not the highest here in Santorini. So yeah, feeling that wind which is a good thing because it's very hot today. It's got great views overlooking all of the island. It sure does, you can see both sides too, the flat side and also the caldera side. to Piros Castle and the views are indeed spectacular but oh my goodness it is so much windier up here so I hope this audio is going to come through okay. <laughs> the views are just amazing here and this was the site of a old Venetian castle. It's one of the five that's on the Santorini island and it was construction, constructed I believe towards the end of the 16th century. It was built as like a key defense um, for Santorini back in the day. Not much left of it now though. No, and a lot of dust, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna stay here too long. You can see planes <laughs> off in the distance. <laughs> but yeah, amazing views. We've been catching 
catching the bus today and we've been catching the Parissa line and it stops off in between Piro and I might butcher this name sorry in advance and Megalahori and so we're going to go to that town now it's been costing us about 1.6 euros for each of the different stages but they're quite infrequent so you've got to check in advance for which are the express and which are the usual routes because the express actually misses this town that we're in right now. Yeah, we've been watching this guy called Greece explain. His name is Sebastian, and he has so much useful information about the bus routes. Yeah. So we'll put a link to him in the description below. Definitely. I think our bus is here now, so yeah. we'll... Good timing. Turns out Megalohori was only one stage away from the town that we were just at and it's supposed to be quite a big place to explore so I'm interested to see what we find as we get down. Yeah, the name itself actually means big or great village. There you go. Supposed to be one of the most beautiful in Santorini too. Nice. Let's go. I've seen a lot of these really cool bow towers here in Santorini, but I gotta say, this one might be my favorite. Only a few minutes into our walk towards the center, we can already see how much more peaceful and quiet this village is compared to a bunch of the other ones that we've been around Santorini so far. And it's so nice to see all these gorgeous whitewashed buildings with all their unique shapes and the blue doors. So pretty. Yeah. We're gonna try head down and see if we can find a traditional cave house, cave house I yeah. think it was. Yeah, let's see how we go. Look at what we found. That was quick. <laughs> Literally like maybe 20 seconds after we just did that little filming, we found this one and it even has a welcome sign and it's free to visit it says so. That's a bit dark. I don't know if we're going to be able to film anything down there, but we'll see. Let's head on down. There's a little information sheet right at the entrance of the cave when you enter and it said that these underground caves were open in the 1700s. I'm not sure if that's how old they are or that's just when it was opened but it was said that these used to be used as houses and then later on as storage places for food and wine due to the natural coolness during summertime and then its natural insulation during winters. So during summer it would be around 20 degrees Celsius and then during winter it'd be around 30 degrees Celsius. But when Ooh. we were inside, it felt way cooler. But yeah, it did. I don't know if that's because it's like so hot out here and then <laughs> once you go in, it's super cool. And um, it used to also be used as like a shelter for animals when, the, when there was bad weather events. Until the 1980s, many of the underground caves like this one were still used as houses, but later on they were renovated to become hotel rooms with modern amenities. But this one, the person has left it free for people to go visit and explore. And there's also evidence in there of a kitchen and a toilet. So it was proven that they were used as houses before. Oh. But yeah, interesting. It is. Good to have your uh, torch on your phone. So make sure your phone has full battery. <laughs> Otherwise <laughs> it might drain it quite quickly. Certainly been a lot more laid back today, eh, bud? Yes, it has been. Yeah, so it's a lot quieter than the villages like Fira and also Ia. And also, I've been talking to our Airbnb host, and she was saying that these two villages that we visited today are a lot more where lo the locals will stay at. Ah. So it's interesting seeing the architecture here with all the houses having like domed roofs yeah, as well as all the unique. churches yeah but right now we are only about 20 minutes walk away from a spot called talcum rocks which we will head down to now it looks like it might be an interesting rock formation i think hope so <laughs>
So what do you think of this place, bud? It is pretty amazing and it might be my favorite place that we've seen in Santorini so far. There you go, I told you it'd be a good one. It is incredible, it's so unique, all the rock formations, even the color of it. I have no idea if it is the name of talcum rock because it's kind of like talcum powder with how much, <laughs> you know, the rock white has been rounded down, yeah, and that it's quite white looking. No idea, but it would be a pretty fitting name for it because of that. But yeah, it's amazing, and it's got this fantastic view of the caldera, of the um, islands that we've been to as well, like Nea Kameni, and then you've even got the little bells just down there overlooking the Aegean Sea, and it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So we checked our Google Maps and this part here isn't actually Talcum Rocks. We think it might be much further down that way and even coming down to this viewpoint here, even with proper shoes and good footing, it's quite a loose footpath, you know, with yeah. some very small rocks and so you've got to be quite sure-footed going down. Yeah, and it's even more loose footing down that yeah, way so towards Talcum Rocks. Too treacherous and probably not advisable to go down this path anyway. At least not for us, we're not going to to take that risk um, but where we are is called the heart of Santorini it's got this amazing view and it also has a little chapel here so it is super picturesque and I think the perfect spot for us to wrap up this vlog and our final last vlog here in Greece yeah it's been amazing here in Santorini we've had a lot of great sights that we've seen along the way yeah it's such a unique place and although it is you know a very touristy place I think there are activities and places to see that just still makes it super worth it to come here definitely. at least once in your lifetime if you can yeah definitely and if you guys have enjoyed following along with us don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button guys drop us a comment love to hear from you have you been here do you want to come here um, and if you can please share our video because that always helps our channel and we always appreciate it we will see you guys on the, the next, next one vlog. see ya